Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to share with you some of my confessions, some of my artist confessions, but first of all I'm just going to mention what I am drawing in this video. This is a commission that I've just recently sent off, it's a commission that someone asked me to do for their Father's Day present and it is their family dog and he is just adorable. So that is what I'm going to be working on in this video and I'm using um, my polychromos pencils and some pastel paper and it is a five size and that is what I'm going to be working on when I talk to you about my confessions. So let's get into this confession video. I thought that I would share with you some of my confessions as an artist that some things that you might be able to relate to some things are a little bit funny and I will be revealing a confession related to Charlie so stay tuned for that and at the end of the video I will be showcasing Charlie's art gallery I'll be sharing some of your art like I said I would in my last video so let's get on with the confessions confession number one I once left my glue gun on for four days without noticing left it plugged in didn't realise and it was on for four days. Thankfully, the house didn't burn down, thankfully, but you really must make sure you turn all your appliances off, especially appliances that get hot. So don't do that, don't leave them on. I just came back one day, I think I'd been making some badges, I'd been doing something with my glue gun anyway, and I'd left it on and I kind of came back a few days later to uh, my plug socket and noticed that it was still plugged in and thought maybe I should unplug that, maybe. It was quite hot but everything was fine thankfully but yeah that was really really stupid and i would not recommend that always turn your appliances off people so my second confession is that i own quite a few paint palettes but never use them i always end up using odd bits of paper odd bits of plastic packaging that i don't throw away stuff that i just find and i just squirt the paint on it and use it i use lids of various jars i just use random things that i can find and i don't actually use the palettes that i've invested my money in because i'm lazy and i can never find them so i just put paint on anything and use it as a palette and that's quite a bad habit and i probably shouldn't do that although it does reuse some things before i throw them away because i don't like throwing things away so yeah I don't use palettes even though I have them. That is also true with sketchbooks. I don't use sketchbooks even though I have them. I have a pile of about three or four really beautiful sketchbooks that I just don't use. I use plain bits of paper instead because that's better apparently. I don't know why I don't use sketchbooks. I do have a couple of little sketchbooks that I do use for like Charlie pictures and ideas but I don't use sketchbooks for any planning. I just use lots of loose bits of paper but again I don't throw away. Confession number three, and this is the Charlie confession, and this is something I've been kind of a little bit worried about saying, but I'm going to say it anyway, because I don't think it's as bad as I maybe think it is, but you know, we'll see. I stole Charlie's name from a child. So what I mean is, I can't remember where it was, but I was at some event years and years ago, and this is when I was just thinking about making a little mouse character. And there was this child, and she had a really cute teddy bear. And I asked her what the teddy bear's name was. And she said the teddy bear's name was Teddy McNeil Thomas. And I thought that is an awesome name. I remember that name. And then when I finally developed my little mouse character, I called him Charlie McNeil Thomas. So it's not quite the same, but I definitely stole the name of Charlie from a child. And I feel a little bit bad about that because it's not quite original anymore. But I also think it's quite cute that I heard it from a child because Charlie is a children's character. What do you think? Do you think that it's okay that I did that or not? I feel a little bit bad about it but also I think it's cute. Let me know what you think. So my next confession is something that I've only just realised quite recently and maybe you have only realized this recently or you haven't realized it yet don't worry if you have only just realized it when you're watching this video really don't worry because i didn't know either but you know a pencil sharpener that has two holes one bigger hole and one smaller hole i always thought that the bigger hole was for bigger pencils and yes you can use the bigger no novelty pencils in that sharpener it's quite useful to have a bigger hole sharpener but the main purpose of the bigger hole in a pencil sharpener is to 
help you sharpen your pencils to a fine point. You can use a mixture of the bigger hole and the smaller hole to get your pencils ultra sharp without using one of those fancy mechanical whizzy things. So that is my realisation and I only realised this very very recently and once I realised it, it revolutionised my colour pencil life. Um, and I'm also not very good. Another part of this confession is I am absolutely horrendous at keeping my pencil sharp. You will see it in this commission. I, you know, you can't really do detailed work without keeping your pencils really sharp. That is one of the biggest tips of colour pencils that every artist will tell you. All the YouTube videos on how to use colour pencils will tell you you need to keep your pencils sharp. And I would recommend this too. But I don't always follow that. I just let the pencils get blunt because I am really, really lazy. And it's really, really bad because I would do so much better sometimes if I just kept my pencil sharp. I really, really need to do this. I really need to follow my own advice because I've given this advice before as well in videos. And I just don't follow it. I keep my pencils really blunt. And it's painful to watch my videos back sometimes when I am watching myself just not sharpen pencils. I really, really want to. Maybe I should get, instead of a swear jar, every time I see myself not sharpening a pencil and going, it letting it get blunt when I'm trying to do especially realism, or maybe I should put a pound in a jar and then that will help me save up for some awesome art supplies. That's probably something I should do. My next confession is, I imagine this is something that one or two of you might also have done. Um, I have on more than one occasion left a glass of dirty paint water on my desk with the brushes in, unclean brushes in the water, which is really bad for your paint brushes. I've often left them in for a few days and it's not just overnight when I can't be bothered, I finished painting late, it's for a while and they just kind of, the dirty watercolour or acrylic water just sits on my desk, unloved and unclean. And I've also done it with brushes. That I use for Mod Podge which is extra bad because they just glued together and I've had to throw them away. I am terrible at cleaning out my brushes and water it's it's just it's really bad. My next confession confession number six is you know when I was telling you that I don't really use palettes the palettes that I do use I sometimes put on the floor and I don't always wear socks around the house I like wearing my feet bare I like my feet to be free so you could imagine what's coming next I have on more than one occasion trodden in the acrylic paint barefoot and then trodden on the carpet and some of you will know that acrylic paint does not come out of carpet very well and it does not come out of clothing thankfully I caught it in time so it didn't leave too much of a stain but I feel my deposit for my flat is slightly at risk from my laziness and clumsiness with acrylic paint. Confession number seven is I have a white gel pen addiction. I overuse white gel pen more than I should and I'm not saying it's bad to use white gel pen because it can be quite useful to get highlights in and it is a good tool. I'm not not slating white gel pen but I have a tendency to overuse it and you probably notice it's not so bad now I'm getting it under control but in my earlier work there's a lot of white gel pen a lot of white gel pen and I am constantly it's one of the art supplies that I do buy a lot I don't feel too bad about it but again when I look back at my earlier work and sometimes I know that I overuse it and I can use it as a crutch sometimes to get the contrast back in and that's not a very good artist habit so don't rely too much on your white gel pen that isn't a bit of advice i'd like to give you but again don't feel bad for using it this is not trying to shame people for using white gel pen i'm just saying that i have a bit of a white gel pen addiction my name is katie and i'm addicted to white gel pens my final confession is i don't throw anything away hardly ever i've got sketches on old bits of paper piled up in my desk and in my shelving unit I'm also very messy when it comes to art. I mean, I don't like making a mess so much in the artwork itself, funnily enough, but my art space is not very tidy, hardly ever. And you may remember the art space tour that I uploaded a while ago. I'll leave a card to it up above and at the end so you can check that out. But that is a very, very tidy version. And you might not even think that's tidy, but 
for my art desk that is very tidy and I'm now going to go and take a picture I'm going to pause this voiceover I'm going to go take a picture and put what my art space looks like now on screen so you can compare the two and you can see how bad it really is so here is my honest room picture I'm very very sorry so those are my artist confessions do let me know in the comments below if you have any arty confessions that you would like to share don't feel like you have to it's just a little bit of fun a little bit light-hearted I thought this would be a fun video and if you like this video you know emotionally and you weren't put off by the horrendous room or my confessions do give this a video a like down below as that does really help me out and if you are new here and you haven't been put off by my confessions please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos I do challenges speed paint some advice and um, some more videos on my little mouse character called Charlie and I will leave a link to him up above and down below do go and check out some other videos they're not all as awful as this one they're not all as cringy and me giving away all my embarrassing confessions but we're coming to the end of the video now um, I'm going to showcase my Charlie's art gallery and if you would like to be featured on the end of one of my videos post your work with the hashtag charlie's art gallery on either instagram twitter or art amino i've had a few submissions for this video and i haven't been able to show them all but i will go back to the hashtag and try and find as many as i can for the next video so first of all we have this really awesome picture by 13 cup and i really like the purple colors and the hair is really detailed and we also have some pokemon by alex days and they are the new legendary pokemon for pokemon sword and shield so i had to include those and we also have Ruki. We have a really nice lighting. I really like the lighting in this piece. And we also have this really, really nice sort of monotone blue picture from Callum Arts. And I really like how deep the blues are. It's almost Prussian blue. I included this because you know I love Prussian blue. So thank you so much for submitting to the hashtag and do submit your artwork still. And I will feature some more next week but that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next thursday bye for now